Hey, great morning, great morning. What is today? Today's Thursday. <laughs> I actually have that right here in my planner. Brain lapse. It's early. I hope that everyone had a great night of rest. If you didn't, that's okay too. <laughs> um, our dog, my dog, I love her. But she woke me up twice. Yes. The first time she needed to go outside. It was about 11 something. The second time, she was lonely. I was like, I'm not, you're not going outside again. So I made her lay back down and then I laid on the couch for a little bit and kept her company inside of the room. <sighs> So, <laughs> gotta love her. She's down here resting now. She's tired from being up all night. <laughs> but I'm still here and I'm grateful for another day and I hope that you are too. And I really just hope that whoever needs to hear this message today hears it. And if you know someone who could benefit from it, please share. Um, this was placed on my heart because I've had to really do a whole lot more work in my own life with my spiritual side. And so finally, after a few months, I said, you know what, I'm just going to start these videos back up and I'm, I don't know how they're going to go. I don't have a plan for them. And that's okay, because what I've learned is the Lord laughs at my plans a lot anyway. So I just came on here and decided to share this part of my journey and, and hope that it inspires someone else to start theirs, whether it's, you know, and it doesn't, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter, but, you know, whatever you believe in, I don't want people to think that you have to believe in what I believe. I will say that believing in God has been the thing that has not only kept me alive, but has also kept me going every day. So that's why I do what I do. And that's why I believe what I believe. And if you're not there yet, that's okay. So I just want to make that very clear. All right. So I wrote a little bit this morning. I have some scriptures here. And I just wanted to kind of talk through this. I did write out a pretty lengthy prayer. <laughs> I just, I talk to God a lot. You know, he doesn't chastise me for what I say or look at me crazy if I don't say it the right way. And so I'm able to just freely write to him. And sometimes I share it. And of course, I'm going to share it on here. Um, but sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll print what I wrote for the day and give it to someone that I know that maybe they need it to. Um, and so that's what I've kind of been doing. I was doing it last year for a while. I think I talked about this a little bit yesterday, but then I kind of got pulled off track and I slipped into the darkness again. And then I started going through more shame and guilt and not feeling worthy and allowing myself to not be priority in my own life. And that really took me down this path of destruction. It got really out of hand. My mental side got really out of hand. And so coming out on the other side of that, I'm now able to realize that, you know, I am worthy of great things. I am worthy. I am I'm pretty freaking amazing. <laughs> and I can admit that and I can admit that with humility. And that's the big thing. I'm not saying it with cockiness or pride or 
whatever, it's complete humility because I know where I came from. I know where I've been. I know what I've done. I know what I haven't done. <laughs> and I can say that with complete humility because I've struggled with confidence my whole life. And I'm finally at a place where I can say, you know what? I am amazing. And I can believe that. And that's the big thing when we get to where we believe it. Every morning, um, I've been doing this for a couple years too, but I started buying these planners from Brenda Bouchard, high performance planners, because I'm a high performer. <laughs> and I love that it's got like a morning mindset thing where I can do that in the morning. And the top three goals and priorities, I used to write things, you know, goals that I wanted to hit for that day. And I'm still doing that, but they look a little bit different. So now, instead of my goals being, let's see if I can find one in here. Actually, I think I started it with this one, so I might have to go back to an old one eventually. Yeah, I did. I started with this one. No, okay, so the first day that I did it, my goals were do some content creation, do my planner, and have some family time. And then I have the tasks at three, usually three or four tasks that I have to be done that day. So that's something else that I can put in here. Now, take today for instance, my top three goals and priorities are love myself, respect myself, forgive myself and others constantly. Constantly. That's the big thing. That's the word that we have to remember. So I started doing those goals because I need those reminders too. And so when I remind other people, you know, clients or whatever, friends, um, I'm usually telling them those things, but I have to remember to tell myself those things too. And then I always have, there's a space where you put today's message to self. And my message to myself was, the Lord hears our cries and he brings us through the storms. Stay with him and he will stay with you. And I know that. I believe it. I've seen it. So... That's how I start my morning. And then I do my writing. And now I share a part of my morning with you. And it's actually pretty awesome. And I'm not I'm getting to the gym a little bit later than I used to, but this is most important to me right now. The the mindfulness, the the sitting, the sharing, starting my day off knowing that I'm here for a purpose and that maybe by sharing my journey, I can inspire someone else to start theirs. That gives me life and that makes me really happy. <laughs> I got to the gym yesterday and there was uh, another female there that I've been talking to for a while. And, you know, we always encourage each other and there's a few people there. I think that's why, that's really why I haven't left. It's the people that I've had the opportunity to surround myself with um, who actually encourage me and support me all the time. And I know that anything that I'm doing, I can share with them and they're going to support me. You know, like one of the ladies, she said, let me know when you have your books. I can buy one. I said, okay. She's pretty awesome. I call her my gym mom. But anyway, this other lady, she and I have been talking and she said, to me yesterday, she said, these last couple of days, you have really just been glowing. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And I said, I'm learning more just to let go. And she said, yeah, that's what it takes. And I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> but later on, I thought about it. I was like, wow, that was probably the best compliment I received 
in a long time. You know, and it's it's nice to be told that you look good or whatever. But when someone says something like that, it means you're doing something right. You know, and it's not going unnoticed. So even when you don't think that anyone's watching, and this was me, this is me sometimes, you know, where I'm like, why am I doing these videos? No one's watching. <laughs> Somebody is. Somebody is. The right person's going to watch. The right person's going to hear the message. And that's all that matters. All right. So I'm going to get into this. Uh, here's a, There's four verses that I started my day off with this morning. The first one is John 13, 14. It says, so if I, the Lord and the teacher, wash your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. What do you guys think about that? I, you know, I think about going and, you know, getting a pedicure, you know, and, and that's what they're doing. They're washing your feet. And I remember a long time ago, I used to be like, I don't know how anybody could do this. <laughs> but there's a lot of things that we do that we, you know, especially women that we go get done and someone is on the other side of that. Someone, that is their act of service. That is what makes them happy. And I mean, I hope that that's why they're still in it. I know that's not always the case. Sometimes it's just for the money, but I really hope for the most part that people do what they're doing because they enjoy it. They, they get, you know, something out of it where they it makes them feel better knowing that they're serving someone and i think about those things when i look at the scripture like how many of us would wash each other's feet you know <laughs> would you wash someone's feet but jesus did that was the most humbling act of kindness i can think of right and, and their feet were jacked up, you guys. <laughs> like, think about, this is like Roman times. You know, they're walking on their feet. They don't have tennis shoes and <laughs> they don't have all these things that we have. And they didn't have cars, right? Like they're walking everywhere. And so I can only imagine how jacked up their feet were. And he's washing them and then he's telling them, wash each other's feet. That is the ultimate act of kindness. So why is it so hard for us to just be kind to other people? If Jesus is willing to wash people's feet, <laughs> some jacked up feet, <laughs> why is it so hard for us to simply say, good morning, have a blessed day, open the door for someone, greet someone, why is it so hard for us? Something to think about, right? Proverbs 15, 29 says, The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. This one I had to think about a little bit the first time I read it, and even today, because, you know, the wicked is, you know, people who are dishonoring things that, I mean, morals, right? Values. But just because maybe in that moment they aren't thinking straight or they're thinking that that's the only way that they can get ahead in life, it doesn't mean that the Lord won't let them in when it's, when it's time for them. And that's what I had to really look at because as messed up as I was and as, as many things that I had done and I haven't done near what some people have and I haven't done near what many of the people in the Bible have, right? I mean, look at Saul <laughs> who turned to Paul, <laughs> right? I haven't done near those things. And so if he can accept them into his kingdom, why on earth would he not be able to accept me? And that's what I really had to think about and I mean, I'm grateful that he did. So with that verse, I just want to be mindful and hopefully share this with you. Even though he can't be with anyone who is wicked, operating in their own strength, prideful, egotistical, 
out for blood, whatever. He can't really be with those people. But if they are willing to come to him, they are righteous. And so then he hears their prayers. Hopefully that makes sense to you. But that's what I had to really think about the more, I mean, especially on my journey of trying to feel worthy and wondering if I was worthy enough to pray and have the Lord in my life. Um, but I am, and so are you. The next one is Psalm 116, verses 1 through 2. It says, I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my pleas, because he has inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call upon him as long as I live. When I fell to my knees that first day, and I've done it a few times then, since then, he's always heard me. He's always heard my pleas. He's always heard my prayers. And I know that because what I pray for intentionally with all my heart, I begin to see over time. And I mean, that's where that patience thing has to come into play. But over time, I begin to see it. And so I believe it. And I will continue to go to him first and foremost for all my guidance and all my plans and um, you know, business plan or whatever. <laughs> it's his plan. It's his plan. So I will continue to bring him in and I will continue to ask him to guide me. And that's just where I'm at. And I encourage you to do the same. Psalms 42 says he brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the mud, and he set my feet on a rock, making my footsteps firm. This verse kind of hit home with me this morning when I read it because the end of 2021 was a dark time for me. Um, Christmas time, my thoughts were literally taking me down to destruction. But on the other side of that, he brought me up and, and now he's really setting the new foundation. He's helping me. He's He put me on the rock. <laughs> He put me on the rock and he's making my footsteps firm. And so if he can do that for me, I know he can do it for anyone else. All you got to do is be willing to let him. That's the hard part, right? All right, so I'm going to read this prayer that I wrote. Bear with me. It is kind of long, but I hope that it resonates with you and helps you throughout your day. It says, Lord, thank you for continuously showing up for me, even when I'm not completely showing up for you. Thank you for coming in and redirecting my thoughts when they go astray. Thank you for the strength you have given me when I have none. Thank you for patience. Thank you for pulling anything that is not of you out of my life. Thank you for accepting me for who I am and showing me that being me is exactly what I need to be doing the whole time. Thank you for allowing me to have the courage to share with others whether they believe in you or not. Thank you for the confidence you have instilled, but also for keeping me humble so that I am relatable to those around me who may not know you, but who know me and can see what you're doing in my life. Thank you for another day. Lord, as we, your sheep, go out into the world today, guide us, protect us, and teach us more about how to operate as you desire. Show us your ways so that we can no longer so that we no longer have to guess. Remind us that while we are human and prone to sin and mistakes, we also have control over what we choose. Help us choose life. Help us choose you. Help us make choices that will continue to serve the purpose you designed for us. Lord, protect us from evil. There are people out there who unknowingly will bring us further from you because they aren't willing to form a relationship with you. Allow us to show them what being with you looks like. Lord, please don't let us be pulled away from you. Keep us grounded. When we begin to go the wrong way, pull us back. Keep us close to you, Lord. Help us grow. Anoint us with your favor. Lord, while we don't always understand your ways, help us know that you have the plan and we just need to trust in you no matter what. Help us see that in the hard times, you are ordering our steps. You are helping us grow. Lord, we need you. Our world needs you. Help us invite you in. 
when we have nothing left, remind us that we always have you, Lord. Be with us throughout the rest of our days and keep us close to you so the enemy has no room to penetrate the barrier which you have helped us put up, the armor only you can provide. Keep us grounded in you, Lord. We honor you. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. I told y'all it was a little lengthy. All right, so let's do our reading for today, and then I'm going to wrap this up. Today is April 21st, and this one is called Develop God-Given Skills. God's challenge. Moses summoned, y'all don't fault me for this, okay? I can't say this name. <laughs> these names kill me. Moses summoned Bezalel, I'm butchering them, and <laughs> Oholiab, <laughs> and all the others who were spe specially gifted by the Lord and were eager to get to work. Moses gave them the materials donated by the people of Israel as sacred offerings for the completion of the sanctuary. And that's in Exodus 36, verses 2 through 3. It says, Byron Janus, one of the outstanding concert pianists of this century, said, I believe that anyone who does something well is an artist. I don't care whether they are a shoemaker, a plumber, or a chef. Doing something exceptionally well takes talent and love of what the person does as an artist. God has given each of us varied abilities. It's up to us to discipline ourselves so that those abilities can become skills and then to offer those skills with willing hearts. As mothers, we have also the opportunity to observe our children's abilities, offering guidance and encouragement for them to develop their God-given skills. Prayer. Lord, I want to use my abilities for you. Amen. Now, if you guys remember, this is a mother's book, so that's why it always says mother, but it can, you know, obviously mean fathers as well, right? Mothers and fathers, we have the opportunity to observe our children's abilities. I know I was actually talking about that with someone yesterday where, um, she asked me how our daughter was doing and and I just kind of went into like how I'm just I observe her and I'm there for support and she's going on her own journey of self and who is who am I and all these things and so I have to I had to really learn how to kind of pull myself back from wanting to you know for lack of a better word coach her <laughs> and and just be here for her when she needs something so i'm learning how to do that i'm learning how to be more patient with her i'm learning how to just be there for support and you know but observe a lot and so that's what i'm really doing a lot more is just observing and not just her but just people in general um i find myself just observing because you can always see where people are you know in their lives and this is something that I used to dismiss it a lot, but now I'm really paying a lot more attention because we have to pay attention to what people are doing and how they're acting with others. So we know if that's a person that needs to be invited into our lives or not. And sometimes it's not. So we have to be careful. And it may seem like it's right, but it's not always right. So that's why we also have to ask the Lord for protection before we go out into the world because the world is not always a good place and we know that. And so we have to ask for that protection and just to allow us to be that light for other people but not let evil penetrate our hearts because when it does, it's not a good place to be. So anyway, thank you for tuning in to another day. This is Thursday. We're going to do it again tomorrow, and then we're going to take the weekend off, and I'll see you guys on Mondays, you know, Lord willing, <laughs> my plan. So we'll see how that goes. But I hope you have a blessed day, and thank you for tuning in. Make sure if you are on the live that you actually go back and watch this and share it with anyone who needs it. All right. See you later.